This old guy DIY has to do with troubleshooting the brakes on the rear of a 1997 Polaris Explorer 500. So I was riding this thing the other day and I heard a hellacious racket back here. And when I squeezed the brake pedal, nothing happened. So I came back here to disassemble it, not knowing anything about this, having not worked on it before. So there was a little washer on here and a cotter key. So I took that off. That's the piece for your foot brake. So I wanted to remove this little hub assembly. So I took these two bolts off and they require a half inch socket. I'll get this out of the way so I don't drop it. Okay, so I got the second one out. And then when you take the socket, or with this piece coming off, then you can just lift it right up off of that brake disc. And when I took the disc out, you know, it's rattling around like that. I just pulled it off. When I look down here, I can see where something has been banging into the aluminum housing, and obviously that's not how it should be. So then I went to this disc, and when you look on it, there are eight studs. There should have been eight studs. And these two were missing, so it allowed the disc to pull way out away from the hub assembly like that. So I suspect that is what was banging in here, making all of the noise. So when I took this thing apart, I found these two bolts were missing. The holes are there and they're all wallowed out. And then I removed one of these shoulder bolts that's sitting there. It's a glorified shoulder bolt. And I checked online and Polaris wanted $29 a piece for them. There's a guy on eBay that has them for $12. And I'm willing to get ripped off, but I don't want to get ripped off that much. So I took my little sample part and my uh, disc assembly to my local family farm and home and I found that the threads are a quarter 28 and the bolt is three quarters of an inch long. So I got some quarter 28 bolts that are three quarters of an inch long and then I bought some little brass sleeves that have a quarter inch ID and 5 16 OD and that fits in there just fine. So these things are a little long. I'm going to cut them off to half an inch because the shoulder on here is half an inch. And then my plan is to pull a couple of these out so I don't have my replacement parts right next to each other. I'm going to have them across from each other instead. But I'm going to remove each of these bolts that are there and I'm going to hit that with blue Loctite. Since two of them fell out, I suspect the other ones are liable to fall out. But anyway, I'm going to sleeve my bolt and for $5 for two studs rather than $22 if I had gone through eBay or 40 bucks if I went through Polaris, I should be able to get this machine back in order. And the other thing I noticed is when you look at the repair parts that are available, if you want to buy this assembly with the hub and the disc, it's about $139. And it looks like the ones they're selling now actually have a bolt that goes right tight through the hub, and I should say through the disc into the hub. So I guess in early 97, this machine says February 97, but in early 1997, they had this assembly free to float rather than having the caliper free to float. So I'm learning about this as I go, and I'm sharing the story with you, and I'll show you more in a few minutes. To hold this little guy in the vise without crushing it, I just put it inside the bolt and then uh, clamped on a little bit with a vise. Then I just used a Dremel with a cutoff wheel to cut it back to half an inch. And this is what the reassembled hub and disc assembly looks like. So I dry fit it and it doesn't look like the thickness of the bolt head is a problem. It appears that the rubbing that happened here was while the bolts were backing out of those two holes. And you can see these are the two holes that were buggered up and I just moved some of the old hardware into those spots and then I put my new quarter 28 fine thread grade 5 bolts with the little brass sleeves on them uh, in those spots and the part number for the sleeve bearing is right here that's what I used quarter inch inner 5 16 outer it was three quarters of an inch long I needed half an inch for this job and right here's my high dollar transaction so the nuts and bolts were $3.49 a pound I paid a whopping 52 cents to get eight of the bolts and eight nuts. And then I paid $2.15 a piece for the uh, sleeves. So anyway, for 
about five dollars and you know, 30 minutes of time if not for filming I put this assembly back together I'm going to reassemble the machine and see if this fixes my problem and if not for whatever reason my next step is going to be to remove all of these things and just mate that disc directly to the hub like the part that I see online and see if that works better. I'm always encouraged when I put things back together and I don't have any extra parts but you can see the assembly is in there and everything is tightened up and when I come over to the brake pedal I should say the brake handle where I had nothing before the piston is out as you can see there and everything is good so we'll fire it up and take it for a ride. Well, I took it for a ride and it stops like it's supposed to. It doesn't make any noise down here. So we're going to call this one Mission Accomplished. Best $5 I've ever spent on this machine. <laughs>